happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In Out of the Box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the Texan PL450. This is an AM, FM, long wave, short wave portable radio. I found this off eBay, a like new condition, for a total of $38 shipped. Represents a decent deal. I was looking for a new shortwave radio to showcase on the channel, and I found one. 450 isn't exactly new, but it's still for sale out there. So here's the box it came in. Texan FM stereo, short wave, medium wave, long wave, synthesized receiver. Over here we got, what is that there? World band, all right. Two FM bands. You can see the different little bullet points. Okay, I just cruise those real quick. There you go, high bass, all right. PL450 AM dual conversion. There you are. Three different color choices, black, gray, and silver. I got the silver model. There you go. Different UPC code. Okay, on the back here, more bullet points. 600 memories, it's pretty nice. I really like the fast low tuning. Uh, I'll show it to you, it's amazing. Uh, it's got a built-in charger. There you go, and some dimensions. All right, so let's open this up, see what we get inside the box. Yeah, cool radio. Oops, there we are. Okay, so next first we got the manual in English, which is good. Next we get a uh, pair of inexpensive Texan headphones, which I probably won't use. <laughs> They're plastic. They don't even have little rubber cups on them. Yeah, it doesn't look comfortable. Those can go bye-bye. Uh, next, they give us a long wire you can hook up to a branch or inside your window blinds and unravel it and plug it in the radio. Pretty cool setup. Uh, next is the radio. Uh, originally, this radio would have come with three rechargeable batteries and an AC adapter. My radio didn't, but not a big deal. I tend to like to charge my batteries with a dedicated charger. So I'll put this box off to the side here. We'll look at the manual real quick. And then we'll get into the radio. So let's look at the manual. It's pretty basic. It's nice to have an English manual, by the way. Most Texan radios are all Chinese. Did I have the right page I did? There's one. Just quickly opening this up here. Getting started. I don't know how this is on the camera, but hopefully you guys can read this. I'm going fairly quick, but I figure you guys can pause if you need to. I notice the staples rusted, but I actually had that happen before in a new uh, instruction manual from Texan. I don't know what the deal is. Um, why they would rust like that, but uh, probably how they were stored. There we go. Let's see, working with memory to talk about different memories, and I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit. I don't want to get too crazy on it. Uh, this is important for those people who buy this radio. It has a system set codes. You probably want to see this. I'm going to bring this up to the camera here, a little close, up close and personal. And I'm just going to kind of go down the list there. You can see you can divide the memories up in different ways for pages and the amount of locations on those pages. It's kind of nice. You can activate, deactivate long wave. Set that 9K, 10K. Hopefully I'm getting all that in the frame. Can you see that? Start again just to be sure. 9K, 10K, and then uh, you get 12 hour, 24 hour format. Uh, rechargeable battery to be used. So you can actually turn it to alkaline so you don't accidentally charge alkaline batteries. That's a good thing. And of course your FM bands, 76 to 108 or 87 to 108. Okay, so it's good to know. Back down here to talk about setting those codes again, additional controls, using the antenna gain switch, which is mainly for uh, FM and shortwave only. Um, I did not notice that on the medium wave band. It says if the AM or shortwave station. So it definitely does not work on medium wave. I tested that. Uh, let's see, you got fine tuning for FM. We'll go over those features. Listen to shortwave. I'm pretty sure you guys, most of you guys watching this know about shortwave, but there you go. You guys can pause and hopefully be able to read that <laughs> and there it is it's the manual in a nutshell okay let's get to the radio it comes in it's like typical brown pouch which is nice and a little plastic sleeve still here that's a neat thing so this radio is barely used all right here it is texan pl 450 not a bad looking radio nice form factor i like that close and personal here we'll go over dimensions 
So we have five and three quarter inches across, three and a half inches high, and a case depth of one and a quarter inches. We'll do some size comparisons. These are always fun. Uh, for this one, I'm going to bring out a different radio. I'm going to bring out the Texan PL310ET, which is almost the same size. As you can see, the 450 is slightly bigger, uh, but uses the same amount of batteries, three double A's. Slightly longer there. You get the idea. All right, next I always have, let's see, do I have any others here? Yeah, the PL380 is the same. That's all I got in my pocket. Always got the pocket handy. Ready to go for general idea. And of course, we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves Chexin, Chexins. <laughs> Texans from China land. Got ahead of myself. <laughs> there you go. Deck of cards. Gives you an idea. All right. So this thing's feature laden. I'll try to go over most of it. And then we'll do some uh, audio tests and start cruising the bands. So left side, we have the carry strap. We have a antenna FM shortwave input there. We have the antenna gain switch for local, normal, and DX. Like I said, it works for FM and shortwave only. Headphone jack, FM stereo listening if you'd like. I didn't test the headphones. I'm not going to use this for headphones. It's a slightly older radio. I know I bought it used and it's like new, but I tend not to test radios that are older just in case. Uh, bass trouble control. Yeah, I'll switch it to bass there. Uh, here was six volt input. Now it's supposed to come with a an AC adapter, mine did not. That's so you can charge the internal nickel metal hydride batteries or run the radio. But if you notice the polarity is odd, outside sleeve is positive and the center pole is negative. That is not standard. But there are uh, power supplies you can get on Amazon. I'll try to link one in the description where you can actually switch the tip polarity uh, so you can have an outside sleeve positive like that. You can't find that too often, but I have found it. Texan, we got a power sleep button there. About a two, two and a quarter inch speaker. Over here we have a display. Let me go ahead, there's a light button here. Now the light button, you tap it, it gives you about, I think a five second uh, light display. If you press and hold this, flashes, now it'll be on all the time. We'll just leave it on. It's not gonna drain it too bad. Uh, here's our battery life indicator. 24 hour clock, you can change that to 12 hour if you'd like. Your timer, you can wake to radio, which is nice with a predetermined frequency. Here we have our lock, our lock feature. You can turn that off by pressing hold that. Okay, so going down here, we have our direct numeric entry keypad. We have a memory button and system setting button. That's how you get to the system codes. Uh, charging on and off, that's your charge feature there. And of course, we have an enter for when you're entering frequencies and delete function for when you're deleting memories. Uh, browsing up and down buttons and auto up and down. Uh, that was the same thing, or tap up and down for single increments. Here we have different band buttons. Here's your shortwave band button, and over here you have your FM, medium wave, and long wave button to change those bands. When you're on the shortwave button and you're tapping this, that'll take you through the shortwave bands, and I'll show you that. Showed you the light snooze button. This is a really cool function here. Tuning, I'll show this to you. It's fast, slow. Um, I typically don't like fast, slow, but you can change it to fast only and slow only and uh, or fast slow. I like that a lot. So you'll find me probably on slow when we're doing a medium wave band scan. I like to ease into the stations. It's a lot of fun. Here's a frequency preset key similar to the VF um, button on the uh, this over here. Let's see if that guy shows it. Yeah, VM or VF. View memory or view frequency. Similar with this, but they called it something else back then. They called it that frequency and preset. They had pages like similar to the 660. Uh, this is how you access it. I'll show you on the back of this radio. Um, it's, I believe, from the factory, 10 pages, or excuse me, 11 pages. Uh, the first page has 100 presets, and the remaining pages have 50 presets. And you can change that, of course. Set the time, set the alarm. Like I said, the alarm feature is really cool. You can set it to a predetermined frequency. So if you're on a FM and you turn your radio off, set the alarm. You can have wake up to an AM station. I thought that was pretty nice. Right-hand side of the radio, still going. Uh, FM stereo, so you can turn that off if you're trying to get good reception with the single speaker and you're not on headphones. Um, that's a good thing to have. We have volume control. We have FM fine-tuning. This FM fine-tuning acts like an, an analog tuner. It's really strange. It doesn't show anything up in the display here. You just start tuning this, and you'll hear like a distinct difference um, when you're tuning your FM stations. Uh, it's very slight, but it's, it's noticeable. If you have a tuning knob, it does not press in. It's just standard tuning. Top of the radio, we have an antenna that's quite long, 27 inches, and rotates 360 degrees. And on the back of the radio, like I said, there's a lot of features here. There is your band, FM, long wave, 
medium wave, and you can see how it's set up, and then short wave, full coverage, 1711 to 299. This radio does not have single sideband, but for 38 bucks, I wasn't expecting it to have single sideband. Um, down here, you can see system codes. If you look there, you can switch between rechargeable and alkaline batteries, and then your pages and presets. 10 pages at 50, 20 at 25, 25 at 20, and 50 at 10. And I think that page zero always stays the same at 100 presets to give you an idea how that works. That's how you get 600. Uh, there's your 9K, 10K. Okay, so this pops open, of course. This is your little stand. The neat thing about the stand is it has these little curved feet there. See how they're angled? It's pretty awesome. So when you have the stand up, it won't slide around on the table. Very smart idea. Uh, three AA batteries <clears throat> behind this compartment. I forget how easy this is to open and close. I should like to open it on camera for you guys. Right now I've got EBL 2800s. These are nice cells, by the way. I love these batteries. Um, I did a review on a charger on these batteries, and I've been using these batteries ever since. I love them. And I have the, I have the uh, Enloop Pros, and I have the Tenergy Premiums, and I'm really liking these EBLs, using them in almost all my radios. Okay, so that's it. Oh, the reset button on the bottom. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk about FM reception. Then we're going to do some audio test, and then we're going to cruise the bands. So FM reception, I do a report. Five star, starts out as fair, okay, good, very good, and excellent. Most analog radios run between okay and good, which is about 48 found stations. Most digital radios tend to be a little higher. And very good radios, of course, like uh, Sanjins and some high-end elite uh, uh, Eatons, uh, tend to go to the excellent range. This radio... Um, actually scored a good to very good in sensitivity, finding 75 stations. That's pretty good. That's a three and a half star rating. Um, FM, FM selectivity was good with that long antenna and this FM fine tuning. I was able to tune in some faint stations. I really liked it. That does a really interesting thing. Uh, I've read some reviews about this radio and some people complained about the FM distorting. But I didn't notice any FM distortion on my radio. Uh, let's see, AM we'll talk about later. So let's go ahead and turn the radio on. And uh, we'll do a little audio thing. But before I do that, I just want to double check on the buttons. So I told you about the DX switch being FM and shortwave. So I want to make sure that uh, we go over everything here. Oh, yeah, there's ATS function, which I forgot to mention. Auto tuning system. It's only available on the medium wave and FM. Press and hold that automatically find stations and auto stores them for you. Um, it's, it's okay. I, I typically don't use that too often. Um, light button, which we've used, which is pretty awesome and a page button. So I talked about all that stuff and I showed you the system set codes. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, demo of the audio. And what I like to use for this is my C-Crane FM Transmitter 2. This was set up to 97.7. I usually use 92.9, but I'm FM DXing right now upstairs looking for e-skips because it is summertime. <laughs> so I have it set up to a little higher frequency and I've hooked up to an MP3 player transmitting 97.7 to this radio so we can hear what it sounds like. And you compare it to other Videos of mine, so you get a general idea. Let's turn it on. Signal strength indicator. Time moved to the right there. There is no display button, so there's no temperature reading on this radio. There's our frequency. And of course, we can set this uh, to slow. And then fast slow. Slow is kind of neat. So you can see it tunes at 10 kilohertz steps on FM. Pretty neat setup. Okay, let's go ahead and do this for a few minutes.
six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. <laughs> There you go, we got a quick little demo of the audio. Sounds pretty good. Uh, the bass does muddy it up a little bit, but bass on the medium wave helps quite a bit. So I use it them in conjunction with the bandwidth control. You do have narrow and, and wide on the AM and short wave, and I'll show that to you. So you saw the FM, you can tune it fast, and you can tune it on the slow mode here by just tapping that button. 10 kilohertz steps, which is pretty nice, or 100 kilohertz steps. Oops, there we go. Lock it to fast. So that's pretty nice. I like that. We'll probably use fast for shortwave. So we're going to switch to shortwave. We've tapped this button here. Now we're on shortwave. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't have a jacked antenna here. So I'm just going to clip to the whip, which works fine. Um, you can do both. Uh, let's see. I have a PL380 wire, which is the same length as the one provided with the 450. I'll just get it ready here. Here's the little clip. Let's go put it right on the antenna. There we go, it's in my window, inside the window blinds, not outside, but it does help. Now if you notice, we're on 17.4 megahertz. We're not gonna get anything at this time of night, so we'll just go to lower bands. Just tap this button to cycle your meter bands. Let's see where we're at right there. Now to browse, you just press up and hold and let go. The neat thing about this is it'll stop. It'll keep going. So then you have time to stop it, add it to memory. Oh, it passed 13. Now it's not the best. So we're going to go, let's actually use this. Um, 3330, see if we can get the Canadian time signal. I think it's there, it's barely audible. Okay. But yeah, this isn't always the best to browse with. Typically, if you know where the stations are at, manually tune to them, and of course, add them to your memory. That always helps. Having 100 memories on the first page is really handy. I like having that. Also, when you're using the memories for AM and FM, uh, they, they share the uh, same page, so you could have FM and AM as you scroll through your presets. Shortwave is treated separately. When you save on shortwave, for some reason, it's in its own little category. So the beautiful thing about this radio, which I love, this is like the number one thing I love about this radio, is this. No mute on tuning. Yeah, switch in case they got a really loud station coming in. Got some music playing. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty easy. Then we'll go to the uh, preset mode. I got a few stations saved on shortwave. There's a wide the button. Keep in station. Talking about the kingdom of God is coming. 
the way and the path is coming. There's just one way to the pearly gates, and that's the way it's called. Okay, so you get an idea for Shirley. It's pretty simple. It works really well. Right tonight, we're a little weak on the signals, but uh, they can happen. Uh, the other night, was there's a ton coming in. So definitely your radio will handle your shortwave really nice. And I love that fact that it tunes like a 660. You just don't have AM sync or single sideband. But again, I paid 38 bucks for the radio. Shipped. Pretty happy with it. So let's go to medium wave, which I really love about this radio. It's like a little mini DX machine. Uh, actually, we can go to long wave. Here. Everybody likes them that, so that's good. So you can just barely pick up a tone there. That's a beacon. An airport beacon. That's the only thing I can pick up on long wave. So there you go. Long wave works. Okay, let's go to medium wave. Now medium wave is awesome. Let's uh, set this to slow. I love slow tuning on medium wave. We'll do a quick little evening band scan. It's uh, 10.33 p.m. Uh, there's a frequency at the bottom of the band. I'm on narrow. I'm on bass. It just sounds best on medium wave. Um, I'll do some more full band scans at daytime and evening on medium wave for you guys, as usual. We're just getting CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. Now, if you need to, when you use a loop during the evening, it works very well. And the light shouldn't affect the uh, medium wave. It doesn't seem to. Lie about this. Here's a WIND Chicago. Is, uh, and their current present day policies and leaders. Okay, WKZO, Kalamazoo, Mich Kalamazoo, Michigan, I believe, is what I heard. Turn off my stuff here. I don't think it's affecting it, though. Okay. Probably, uh... WTVN, uh, Columbus, Ohio, 330 miles, 5,000 watts. Disney has launched a streaming product. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Notice the signal strength indicator as I turned it. They want worldwide. This is such a worldwide brand. Uh, many hundreds of miles. Uh, CFCO barely coming in there. Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Uh, unsteady atmosphere, I'm guessing. Okay, we've got two stations mixing. Uh, we have WMFN Piatone, it's a Hispanic station, 75 miles away, 1,600 watts. Right 
there. Patty Loveless with a very spirited Porter Wagner at the outset of that song. WSM Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Also missed his introductions at the Grand Ole Opry. No one was more... This radio doesn't know well. I was able to get 660 the other day. Okay, 670, the score to be a CR, Chicago. You with a scarf? I don't need it. Get in there and do something. Well, that's what they do. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Such and such strong. It doesn't mean... <laughs> 710 WOR, New York, New York, 750 miles. Barely picking it up. Really close to 720. Station and Sony says it's going to be lightning fast. WGN Chicago. Hands on it though. The new PS5 isn't due out till the end of the year. But Sony. Oh, getting a station at 7:30. I think this is uh, CKDM, Dauphine, Manitoba, 820 miles. Music there, CFZM, Zoomer Radio, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. How do you feel about debit cards, but my wife and I found that they're giving it back, and now they're making demand. You got to get rid of every time. 760 WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. In the transition period between now and the decisions, increasingly are looking to Nigeria to be a place. 770 WABC, New York, New York. Increasingly targeting religious leaders. Christian. By the way, I forgot to mention, I don't know if I said that the time is, you can see the time going there, but I'm near Chicago, Illinois. Uh, let's see if uh, we can pick up a couple extra stations and we'll call it. Steam from coffee, tea, or smoking. WBBM, I'm going to go to fast. Fast. Uh, oh, mon, me, chef. Four certain locks, and you're saying five. 850 is KOA Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. There are five, or five spots are taken. I know where to find the toilet, please. Meet Chuck. 880 WABC, New York, New York. WCBS, excuse me, New York, New York. I have a particular one, it was 40 militants. 1030 WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts. Square miles of land, it went on for... With William Cooper, author of... Let me go right to the top of the station, we'll have direct entry of frequency. TBGG, Des Moines, Iowa. A thousand watts, and we are 200, I believe, miles away. 280 miles away. Well, there we go. Yeah, this radio is feature packed, and I'm definitely going to feature more videos on this. Let's go ahead and just turn this off. So, there it is the Texan PL 450 uh, AM FM shortwave long wave portable radio. This thing is pretty cool. Uh, I really like the no mute on tuning. I find that fantastic, especially with doing medium wave and short wave. It's just, it's awesome. I like this uh, uh, gain switch local norm, normal and DX when you're putting in like a high powered antenna like a mag loop or a long wire. It really helps uh, so you don't have any local signals destroying your radio. 
it's a bonus. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video review of the Texan PL450, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Uh, love this radio. Two, if you like Texan radios, you like features of reviews and band scans, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future Texan radios. I am going to buy the new ones when they come out. Uh, anytime a Texan puts out a radio, I like them. I get them. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the PL450. Uh, what do you think about this? Is it feature rich? Is it worth 38 bucks to you? Um, I'll put links down below to eBay. Probably your best bet. You can buy these, I think, online if you look around. Uh, but you're going to spend about 50 plus shipping, I guess, uh, for a brand new brand new one. Is it worth that? Eh, at that point, you might want to save up for like maybe a single sideband radio. Like the uh, XH Data. Always keep it handy like this guy here. Uh, D808. I like this one a lot. So I'll put that video maybe up in the iCard section. But it uh, does not have mute on tune, uh, no mute on tuning like this one. I like the no mute on tuning. Huge feature. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.